So what we're gonna do here is start setting up our first set of smears. And so ideally what we wanna do is again, set up our area. So I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna use the slides we just previously cleaned. And I'm just gonna set this up so I know what's going on there. So since I know this is gonna be A, I, I'm gonna write here that I'm gonna use an organism called Klebsiella pneumoniae. All right, so I know what's going there. So I'm gonna set up this guy. And I'm even gonna try and point out where I'm gonna try and create my dual smear. I'm gonna leave this guy a little bit for later. So, I'm gonna take my loops so I can transfer material. I'm actually gonna create my tiny little drops in this case. Try the tiniest little drop, tiniest little drop. And then now I wanna aseptically transfer my organism, which is Arclopsilla pneumonia. So we have to follow all the rules. So that means I'm gonna check my gas line, I'm gonna check everything else. So I'm gonna set up my little cone system. So I'm pretty sure that sound will overpower a little bit of everything. So let's see if we can get a good angle. And so, Taking my loop, again, 45 degree angle with my elbow. Go in, out, in, out. Sterilize this guy. So I'm just talking away from this guy, so I'm gonna make sure I don't contaminate it. I'm gonna actually take my organism, pinky technique it, pass it twice, make sure that this is sterile. And again, after about 15 seconds, I'm going to pick up a tiny little amount of this guy. And again, I want to make sure I wait 15 seconds or more to ensure that my loop is sterile and cool. Assuming that, then it won't kill whatever I touch in there. So, 15 seconds have passed, and all I'm going to do, as you can tell, is just a gentle tap. I'm not scraping, I'm not carving, I'm not poking, I'm just tapping a little bit of the stuff that is in there. I'm going to pass my substance again, all of this with a technique to close it and now I know for a fact I have a couple of million organisms sitting over here so I'm going to take it and smear it in large circles over the first one you'll notice that it's going to start drying out and I'll do it again until the second one no breaks in between I'm just going from one to the other and so officially here I've created two large smears now I'm going to sterilize my loop again, 45 degree angle, one, two, and let this guy sit. Now, I'll close this guy off. This guy is sterile. And technically, there's two ways to go about this. We can let this air dry, which is one method of doing things. But what we can do is actually heat dry it. What we do is use a bench heater. So what we do is let it sit there for about a minute to kind of allow it to air dry and then fix it to the actual slide. So we use bench heaters to actually create smears. I already have a slide already happening, but I created a new one just so we can do this. We usually just pay, place it on the actual surface and within about a minute or so, the fluid that is in there will dry out. The idea here, it's safer than using a Bunsen burner to do this simply because again, an open flame, burning your fingers, charring the glass, cracking the glass, and so on and so forth. So these are a safer alternative. So we'll let it sit there for about a minute. And what you'll start seeing is usually by the time it's done smearing and heat fixing, it'll create a very unique kind of look to it, like some water dried out. And in essence, it did, but now it has an organism in there. And what you have effectively done is allowed it to attach itself to the glass. So now we can actually proceed with the actual ground staining procedure or any other staining procedure for all that matters. So you create the smear and then heat fix it. Once it's nice and dry, we can actually proceed with the next part of the protocol.